Hi, uh, you asked a question on Facebook about what goes on behind the staff doors and what kind of fun stuff we might have behind the staff doors. So today we're going to answer that question about what's behind the staff doors. So this is the first floor that we're um, entering the back of the house area for. So this is where our circulation staff has their space. So we'll have a look at that and then we have some other fun stuff to show you that Okay, so this is our circulation staff area. This is where all of their area is for um, their work that gets done back here. And then we're going to show you the book return. So if you've ever driven up and returned your books through the drive up book return, we're going to show you where they go. So this is the book return. This is the inside of where you drive up to return books um, in the book return. So this is where they come in and then we um, take them into the sort room, which you've seen already, and are able to check them in. Hi, now we're in the business office on the second floor. So this is a public space, so some of you have seen this already. But we're gonna go have a look at the CMR area, which is our community media relations. So this is their work area and we are getting ready for summer reading. So this is a little preview of our summer reading t-shirts. Okay, so now back of house area. Um, our administrative offices are back this way and those are public access. So you can always go have a look at those. We're gonna go look at the staff lounge. Um, so this is the staff lounge. This is where um, staff is able to take a break uh, for either lunch or their small breaks and uh, get a little bit of relaxation in and eat, drink, whatever they need to do. Still on the second floor here, this is the um, Youth and Outreach Services work area. Um, they have some of the um, bigger area back here with the most staff, so um, you will see all of the creative juices that flow back here. So this is their work area and where they do all their planning. So in addition to their workspace, they also have a storage area that some of you might have um, read the blog about. So here's where Iron Man and Darth Vader live and all the other fun stuff. This is going to be the third floor um, staff area that we're entering. So we'll go through the big doors. So beyond this door is where our IT department is. Um, only special people can go through this door. So we're just going to look in and you'll have to imagine all the IT-ism that goes on in there. All right. So the last few areas that we're going to look at are the reference work area and our cataloging um, area. So this is the reference work area. This is where um, they come to do their work off the desk. It's very neat and tidy. All right, and then we have one more area we're going to show you behind the scenes. This is our cataloging area. So this is where all the books come in when they're brand new and shiny and also where they do the men's for the books that aren't so brand new and shiny. So this is their work area. So some of you might have seen the blog about the men's that we do for items that need repair. And this is where this happens, is back in this area. Okay, so the last thing we're going to show you is the staff elevator. Yes, we have our own elevator. The idea is that we take book carts up and down this elevator and um, we don't use the public um, area to take the book carts up and down. So we're gonna open up our staff elevator for you. So this is the staff elevator. You'll notice that it is purple. So when we moved over to this building, the staff got to choose from an array of colors of what color they wanted the staff elevator to be and purple one. So that tells you a little bit about the staff areas. So you've seen the staff area. We're out on the staff terrace right now, enjoying the beautiful Wyoming wind and weather. And so we've shown you all the staff areas now. If you have any additional questions, just let us know. We'd be happy to show you anything.
anything else. I'm not mad.